um, this is uh, inspired by a feeling that's maybe a common one. When you're seeing someone, you want to say, why don't you understand how amazing I am and how lucky you are <laughs> to be in my presence right now? It's this Woo! kind of fantasy world where I have the, the, you know, the confidence to say this. Not on stage. Okay. I have to channel the confidence. I want it to be clear that I have like a lot going on at the moment. I'm actually a very successful person. Have you read my artist CV? It's about 10 pages long. I am only 27. Can you imagine what all have done by the time I'm 35? Have you thought that far ahead about your life? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. I wanted to be clear that without you, I'll be fine. I was grocery shopping the other day and a radical lesbian vegan from Australia hit on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, last night I was buying some cannoli. Well, I bought you a cannoli and I bought me a cannoli, but you didn't respond to my text about me, so I ate all the cannoli by myself. But I was buying the cannoli, and the man selling me the cannoli told me I was beautiful and asked if we could hang out sometime. And I was like, Thanks, but no, kind of seeing someone and he's like, no, no, just as friends. And I was like, yeah, just friends. I want to be clear to you and to everyone in this room that you're never going to be just friends with me. You might be sexy, but I am a woman and I have perfect teeth. <laughs> I've never had braces. You can ask my dentist, Dr. Bayless. He's known me since I was a child. I grew up in California, so I have friends in California. <laughs> so I have access to California. And I might take you to California, but you'll have to work for it. You can work really hard for California. <laughs> Just to be clear. I like sex and I expect my fair share. I can cook if you can clean. I have good genes and might deign to pass them on to birth 2.5 beautiful children, but only if you take care of them because mama will be busy fulfilling her own potential, making it rain and coming home late to a tall glass of scotch and a leather armchair because times have changed and I am your mama and your absentee father figure now, just to be clear. <laughs> Oh, what's that? My job sucks and I have pennies to my name? Oh, that's true, <laughs> but you know what? I'm working on it. I have dreams and I know that my housing situation isn't the most ideal. Like right now I'm carrying a suitcase back and forth across Berlin to avoid staying at home with my now ex-boyfriend, but like at least I have my own suitcase. <laughs> I wanted to be clear that the, this little hiccup on the timeline of 2019 does not define me. Just like my parents' divorce doesn't define me, and my dad's alcoholism and my mom's depression and my grandma's insanity don't define me. The big break breakup of 2009 also doesn't define me, thanks to years of therapy that came after. <laughs> and the death of my idol, David Bowie, also doesn't define me, though it still does make me sad sometimes. The thing about hardship and tragedy and pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, kid, because this is your home now, Oliver, and you only get this much porridge is that it all makes you stronger. And I'm like so fucking strong now, just to be clear. I could lift a car to save a baby. I can punch an assailant on the street. I can make my voice really, really loud. I am so powerful. I once was using power tools and shot myself in the finger with a nail gun. And then I took a <laughs> pair of pliers and I pulled out the nail from my finger because no one was there. I could not cry or stop to think about it. I could not drive to the hospital. So I pulled out the nail from my finger and it hurt like hell and I bled all over the studio and then I washed the wound and wrapped it in paper towels and went to a meeting but didn't tell anyone there what had happened. Just to be clear about who you are dealing with. My name is Demi Elizabeth Anter and I don't need you to like me but Jesus Christ fucking Christ, if you did like me like I like you, I would probably do anything you asked of me, ever. <laughs> Just to be clear. Thank you guys so much.